Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Emily and this is a virtual reality 360 experience for the Arctic Sun 5000 temperature management system. Today, we're gonna to show you how to deliver targeted temperature management for neonatal, pediatric, and adult patients. When we go in, Melissa, can you grab the Arctic Sun device? Sure. And see, can you get some Arctic gel pads and a core temperature probe? Absolutely. All right, let's go. This is our patient, Austin. He's already been identified as a candidate for targeted temperature management. We're gonna choose size large Arctic gel pads for Austin based on his height and weight. You can see the size chart on the front of the Arctic gel package or hanging from your device. Now we're going to demonstrate how to place the Arctic gel pads on our patient. First, we'll start by removing the blanket and lowering the bed rail. Melissa is peeling off the outer layer in order to expose the gel. And then we're going to log roll him to the side. Melissa will line up the long straight edge next to the patient's spine, leaving about a finger width distance to avoid placing the pad on any bony prominence. Then we can roll him back over and the pad will wrap around the patient's abdomen like this. Next, we'll do the thigh pad. We can simply lift his leg and place the pad from about the knee to the hip and wrap that wing around the back. The hoses are always going to be anterior to the patient and pointing towards the patient's feet. Now we're going to repeat the procedure on the other side. You can lower the railing and we'll roll our patient to the other side. Once again, I'm going to line the long straight edge up next to his spine and roll him back over. The gel pads can go on top of defibrillator pads. We also want to ensure that the gel pads are in contact with clean, intact skin. If you have any sort of dressings on the patient, you can use these white waxy strips of paper as a barrier between the skin and the gel pad. Also, you'll notice that our gel pads are overlapping on the abdomen. If you roll your patient over and there is a large gap of exposed skin, you'll want to get a universal gel pad. The universal pad is a supplement to the set of four gel pads on your patient. When you open the package, the pad looks like this. It is a rectangle and can be used to bridge the gap across the abdomen, and you can use up to two of these. When treating a pediatric patient on the Arctic Sun 5000, pad sizing is incredibly important. You can use the size guide that's hanging from your device. For Cruz, our pediatric patient, we can either use small universal pads or a set of extra, extra small pads. First, we'll demonstrate the use of small universal pads. They come in a package that looks like this with small universal on the label. When you open the package, you will have one gel pad and you will also have Velcro straps. The small universal pad comes with the cloth liner attached to it, which you can place directly on your patient and secure it with the Velcro straps like this. For Cruz, because his skin is mature, we are going to peel off the cloth liner in order to expose the hydrogel to stick the hydrogel directly on his skin for optimal heat transfer. Do you guys wanna go ahead and open up your packages and we'll get started? For Cruz, we're gonna use three gel pads, one on his torso, one on his back, and one on his thigh. Okay. 
So first I will place the pad on his torso. I'm gonna place it so that the hoses are pointing towards my side of the bed, nearer to the Arctic sun, 5,000. Just right across his abdomen like this. Then we're going to log roll him to the side. Okay, now we can roll him back. Should you choose to use the small universal pad with the cloth liner in place, you can place it around the patient and use the Velcro straps that come in the package in order to secure it next to the patient's skin. Just like that. We want to make sure that the hoses are pointing towards the side of the bed that the Arctic Sun is on and that they're not kinked for optimal water flow. Next, we're gonna demonstrate how to use a set of four Arctic gel pads. In the pediatric ICU, you can use neonatal, small universal, extra, extra small, all the way up to large, depending on the size of your patient. Once we choose the extra, extra small pads, it's a set of four that come in a package like this. When we open the gel pads, we're going to have two torso pads and two thigh pads. Would you go ahead and hand me the ones for this side of the bed? Sure. Thank you. So what we're gonna do is locate the pads with the long straight edge. These are the pads that will line up next to Cruz's spine. I'm gonna take off his blanket and Melissa's going to peel off the outer layer to expose the gel. And she's gonna line the long straight edge up next to his spine. Make sure it's not on top of the spine. We leave about a finger width distance there. And then when we roll him back over, it's going to wrap just across his abdomen. The pads can be adjusted, removed, and replaced for up to five days, typically of therapy. So next, George is gonna do the thigh pad. When placing the thigh pad, you wanna make sure that the hoses are always anterior to the patient, always pointing towards the patient's feet. So we'll have that hose on the front of his thigh, and then it will wrap around. If the pads are too big, they will simply overlap on top of each other. You wanna make sure that you never cut the pads. Okay, so now we're gonna roll him to the other side. To place the torso pad, we're gonna line the long straight edge up next to the patient's spine, allowing for a couple finger width distance between the two pads. We can then wrap it around the torso and roll the patient supine. To place the thigh pad, we'll simply bend the knee Line up the hoses anterior to the patient, pointing towards the patient's feet, and wrap it around underneath. Ensure that the pads are not too tight to allow for full respiratory excursion, and check the skin according to your hospital protocol for areas of chafing, and readjust the pads accordingly. The pads are meant to be readjusted for up to five days on each patient. To begin therapy with a neonate, we'll first need a neonatal arctic gel pad. Move the pad from the package and place it in the isolate. When placing it in the isolate, make sure the blue side is down and the cloth liner is facing up. We want the neonate skin to come in direct contact with the cloth liner in order for optimal heat transfer. Make sure that the hoses are pointing towards the foot of the bed and that they are not kinked. We'll place the neonate directly on the pad. And if you choose to do so, we can wrap one of the tabs around the neonate's abdomen and secure it with the Velcro strap provided. If you would like to use positioning devices, you can do so on the outside of the pad. 
When delivering therapy with the Arctic Sun 5000, you can position the neonate as you normally would during your regular care. If appropriate, you can have the mother hold the neonate throughout therapy. Make sure the mother is seated in a comfortable position near the bed, and we can transfer the patient into her arms. We we'll just want to ensure that the pad stays placed in between the mother and the neonate in order to prevent any heat transfer between the mom and the patient. We've connected a core temperature probe to the temperature cable on the back of the device. Now it's time to connect the Arctic gel pads to the fluid delivery line. In order to connect the pads, have a firm grip on the blue hose and line it up to two of the holes on the fluid delivery line. Simply push till you hear an audible click. Make sure you steer clear of squeezing the clear tabs. Now that we have everything connected, we can start therapy. On our home screen, we have two options, normothermia and hypothermia. For this patient, we're going to select hypothermia. Now we've reached our home screen. You can see your protocol is programmed according to your hospital policy at the bottom of the device. You will confirm your target temperature under the cool patient box and simply click start to begin therapy. Therapy started. You can hear the Arctic Sun tell you therapy has started and you can see the cool patient box is flashing. When you're looking at the screen, everything in yellow is information about your patient and everything in blue is information about the water. This yellow number is your patient temperature. The blue number is your water temperature. Over time, you will see the graph start to populate with lines. The dotted yellow line is the target temperature as programmed into your device. The solid yellow line is your actual patient temperature and the solid blue line is your actual water temperature. You can toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit by clicking the button in the upper left-hand corner. Next to the patient temperature, you will see the patient trend indicator. The trend indicator tells you what your patient's temperature is trending over the course of the last five minutes. Each bar lit up reflects a rate of change. For each bar lit up, it is 0.25 degrees Celsius per hour of change. When the arrows are pointing down, your patient's temperature is dropping. When the trend indicator is neutral, it means that your patient temperature is not fluctuating. When you see arrows pointing up, it means that your patient's temperature is rising and you should go assess your patient for heat generation, such as shivering, seizure, fever, internal bleeding, or other sources of heat generation. Over time, you will see the clock start to count down on your cool patient box. Once it reaches zero, you will either get an alert or the Arctic Sun 5000 will automatically rewarm your patient back up to normal. On the lockout screen, you will see your target temperature, your patient temperature, your water temperature, and the trend indicator. Now it is time to transfer our patient from the ER to the ICU. Anytime you are going to disconnect the Arctic gel pads from the Arctic Sun 5000, you first need to click stop. Therapy stop. You will hear that therapy has stopped and you will be prompted to click the start button in order to return all the water from the gel pads back to the device. This process takes about 45 seconds and is very important to avoid letting water leak all over the floor or on your patient. I'm gonna go ahead and click start. And once the process is finished, we will be able to disconnect the gel pads from the fluid delivery line. Now that the pads are empty, we can disconnect them from the fluid delivery line. In order to disconnect, you're going to squeeze the clear tabs, push in until you hear a click, and then pull them apart. Once again, that is squeeze, push, then pull. 
Now we can power off the device and get it ready for transport. Thank you. Now we're ready to push the Arctic Sun separately from the patient up to the ICU. Hi George, this patient is Austin. I started TTM therapy on him down at the ER and now that we're here in the ICU, we can pick up where we left off. We already have the device plugged in and powered on. So now we're gonna go ahead and reconnect the pads. Austin is wearing size large pads plus a universal pad across his abdomen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Once you get your pads connected, make sure you also reconnect his temperature probe. Connected. Okay, great. So now you're going to click the green button to continue the current patient. And then from there, you're going to go to the cool patient box to click the green start button. Therapy started. Now we know therapy has begun again, and we picked up right where we left off. If at any time you have alerts or alarms, you can call the helpline by using the 800 number on the sticker on your device. Let's go through the features on the back of the Arctic Sun 5000. This is the power cord. You must plug the device into a power source in order to turn it on. You can turn on the device using the power switch located here. This is the temperature cable where you will hook up your core temperature probe. You may also have a secondary temperature cable here for your secondary temperature probe. This is an out cable should your hospital choose to use it. And this here is the fluid delivery line where you will connect your Arctic gel pads to the device. This is the field tube. If you get an alarm that says your reservoir is low, you will go ahead and grab a couple liters of sterile water, open the water and place it on the floor in front of the back of your device. Go ahead and press the fill reservoir button on your screen and remove the tube from its parking spot. You will drop it into the sterile water and click start on your screen. The Arctic Sun will suck up all the water that it needs and it will tell you when it's finished. Then you can remove the straw from the water and click start again. It will then suck all the water out of the filled tube and you can replace it right here where you found it. Be sure to never plug in anything into these ports. These are for your biomed department. 